land navigation is a crucial skill to a soldier. Your ability to perform land navigation will be put to the test a number of times throughout your Army career and could be a major deciding factor in mission success. The OE Games Land Nav application is designed to allow you to practice your land navigation skills in the absence of a physical land navigation course. This application helps you exercise the objectives of correctly plotting points, establishing your plan for completing the course, calculating distance and direction, correctly using pace count and pace speeds. The game is accessed through the Tradoc OE Games portal at oegames.tradoc.army.mil. Upon loading, the Land Nav application will provide you options of courses to navigate and additional preference settings. You can access the Help feature by clicking the question mark in the upper right corner. In the upper left, you can expand the application to full screen mode by clicking twice. Select your preferred course to complete. Currently there is only one, but more courses will be available in the future. Select the course type. The randomized option will set the given points randomly. Presets will set the points consistently. The enter course code will allow you to reattempt a previous randomized course. Set your desired pace count and click on begin course to start. The course help screen will appear momentarily while your course is building. You will begin the course at the start point. The function menu is in the upper right corner and contains the known points, given points, pause button, and settings. When viewing the known points, clicking on the start point will automatically return you to the course start point. The given points will be your points to locate. The pause menu allows you to retrieve your course code, complete the course, or exit the game. The settings menu allows you to change player and sound settings as well as toggle full screen mode. The menu on the lower right is your land navigation tools menu. Click on the arrow to expand the options. Click the map button or press the M key to open and close the map. The map contains your tools needed to plot the given points. On the left side starting at the top are map movement buttons including one to center the map. Just below are the buttons to zoom in and out on the map. The protractor button places the protractor over the map. The protractor can be moved by clicking and holding the left mouse button and dragging. The line drawing tool will allow you to draw lines and measure azimuth and distance. On the right of the map are the point flags, labeled starting point and one through eight. Once a point has been determined, you can drag and drop the flags on the map. To prevent accidental movement of the flags, a lock button is provided to restrict flag movement. At the lower right of the map is the declination diagram. Click the arrow in the upper right corner to expand. To determine the azimuth using the line drawing tool, Click the pencil button to add the tool to the protractor. Click and drag each point to the desired points on the map. The line extends beyond point 2 to indicate azimuth. The distance between the points will be indicated automatically on the distance scale at the bottom of the map. Click the map button or press the M key to close the map. Open and close the compass by clicking the compass button or pressing the C key. Use the Q and E keys to rotate the compass to the desired azimuth or enter the azimuth directly in the text box. Open and close the notepad by clicking on the notepad button or pressing the N key. You can make notes to save for later. Clicking the belt button or pressing the P key will drop and grab the reflective belt. Your pace count and ranger beads are located in the lower left corner. Click the plus button or the plus key to increase the bead count. To reset the beads and pace count, press the zero button or the minus key. 
When you approach a point marker, an input screen will appear allowing you to enter the point identifier into the point list. Enter the identifier of the point you found into the line with the matching coordinates. Press the X button to cancel the action or the check button to accept your input. Once all points have been entered, you will receive an overall grade. Once complete, you can rerun this course or try a new one. Use this tool as often as necessary to help hone your land navigation skills.